Well, welcome back to Sight Tech Intermountain Earthworks training videos. This is another quick tip for you that have the massless graders. I'm in a brand new 14 cat next gen Earthworks grader that we've overlaid our system over. It is a full 3D system, but right now I'm set up to where I am running just two dimensional, the cross slope sensor, and I've got a sonic tracer out there. Um, right now I'm in sonic left and cross slope. There's a couple different things on your screen you can do. Right now I'm sitting on the slope. What you can do is, if you need to actually match the existing grade up top, as long as you're consistent along the side of it, your sonic tracer will still work where you can see that it's kind of overlapped over the crown right there. Even though it's not perfectly square, you can still set down and bench right there like that. Turn your autos on and actually go. You just gotta make sure that at your crown right there or your break point for the road, that you kind of stay consistent. The other thing you can do is if you've already established a grade on the slope right here, like I have this way, I can just bring my sonic tracer in and set it down uh, to where it's actually right at the top of the slope right there. So I can go ahead and set on the grade, come up just a hair and bench my left side so I match grade. Now the other thing is, is you never know sometimes what the cross slope is. So right there it's on level, so if I were to turn my autos on, obviously it would try to pitch the blade up level. You don't have to do the math and get out with a level or a rover or anything to know what the existing slope is. If you're trying to build an existing slope, for example here at UDOT, you'd have a specific like 15% or 16%, whatever it is, you can go ahead and dial that in right here. But if you just want to match an existing slope, after you zero out your sonic tracer on the left side, you can set your blade down to the exact slope that's already out there. And there's an icon on the right right here that allows you to let it process what the existing slope is. So as soon as I hit that, the system has a minus point or a 15.9. That's what the actual slope is. It's almost 16%. So now we can go ahead and just turn our auto on on the left for the sonic and I can turn my auto on on the right for holding that percentage. And you can go ahead and just start going at that grade. So if you need to raise and lower your, auto, your, your sonic tracer, you can raise that on the left toggle right here with your thumb to match that and raise that or lower that. It'll change your, uh, your increment decrement depending on what you've got set. Or you can also change the percentage with the right one. If you use your right side, I can actually change how steep or not steep that percentage is. You can see if I go up, it shallows it out. If I go down, it makes it steeper down to a 16%, etc., etc. et cetera. So I just, once again, this video is to try to remind people that the Sonic Tracers are still there. If you don't have a model, um, let's say the model doesn't match, or you don't want to use it that day, set the base up, whatever it is, this machine being the newest and greatest for the earthwork system being massless still works with sonic tracer left right you could have two sonic tracers on or you could even run sonic on one side and 3d on the other side turn on your gps and actually run a model on one side to match what this icon does on the bottom right here if i were to make this pass I can go ahead and if I make a 180 degree change, if I hit that one, it'll just flop my cross slope to the opposite side to where I could make a pass coming all the way back. But you gotta keep an eye on your sonic tracer out there to make sure that it doesn't go up the slope over there or it's gonna start reading that grade. So that's why I'm kind of moving over a little bit. But just remember sonic tracers are still cool and uh, you can use them with your massless graders or your earthworks graders that have mass on them. So. Thank you for watching this video from Sight Tickener Mountain on the ST400 Sonic Tracer in your massless graders.